our home planet, the sun as a central star with all other planets that revolve around it is called the solar system. We are all part of planet called the earth. It looks like a beautiful blue and white ball when seen from the space. It is the only planet in the solar system on which life exists. Solar system consists of eight planets and the sun. They are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune in the order of their distance from the sun. All these eight planets revolve around the sun. Venus is the brightest of them all. The earth spins or rotates on its axis. One rotation causes one day and one night in 24 hours. The earth revolves around the sun in 365 days or one year. Shape of the earth. The shape of earth is very similar to an orange. It looks flat to us because we see a very small portion of it. Earlier, people believed that the shape of the earth was flat. They also believed that if they had gone far enough, they would fall off the edge. Aristotle, an ancient Greek philosopher and Pythagoras, a mathematician on the basis of the curved shadow it casts during lunar eclipse, argued that the earth was a sphere. About 2000 years later, Sir Isaac Newton, an English scientist, mathematician and an astronomer, suggested that the earth is not a perfect sphere, but is rather somewhat flattened at its poles. These poles are called North Pole and South Pole. Satellites An object moving in a fixed orbit around a planet is called a satellite. Moon is a natural satellite of the Earth. It is the brightest object in the night sky. In the context of space flights, a satellite is an object which has been placed into the orbit by human endeavor. Such objects are called artificial satellites. The first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, was launched by the then Soviet Union, now Russia, in 1957. Since then, thousands of satellites have been launched into orbits around the Earth. These satellites took the Earth's photographs from space. The photographs Taken by these satellites also proved the fact that the shape of the earth is round. Finally, from space, the earth appears blue due to the reflection of light from water and that is on its surface. As we all know that the three-fourth of the earth's surface is covered with water and only one-fourth is land. Due to this, earth is also known as the blue planet. Atmosphere. Our Earth is surrounded by a layer of gases called the atmosphere. This atmosphere acts as a blanket for the Earth and protects us from the direct rays of the Sun. The atmosphere contains different types of gases which are important for the survival of all human beings. Horizon. The horizon is the apparent line that separates the Earth from the sky. When one stands in an open ground and looks from a distance, the land and sky seem to meet. But in reality, they do not meet. This meeting line is called the horizon. Every time we come closer to the horizon, it seems to move further away. Similarly, the place where the land and sea meet is called the coast. Origin of our planet the Earth is our home planet. Before the Earth existed, there were no people. Today, our planet is neither young nor old. The Earth is a middle-aged planet. It has cooled sufficiently to allow liquid water to form, but has remained warm enough to sustain life and to keep water from freezing. This is the reason why Earth is also called a unique planet. Scientists believe that the Earth will exist for many billions of years more before it is destroyed by the aging sun. During these billions of years, it will continue to change and evolve. 
the earth as they know today will not be the same earth that others would know millions of years later in future